Shout out to Winnicott senior Nico Zeno. Welcome to the final week of FNF and the final week of the high school football season. Four teams remain with two state championship trophies up for grabs in Division One and Two. Let's take it to D1 first with a matchup between the Winnicott Warriors and Londonderry Lancers. And what a season it's been for the Warriors. They're one win away from completing a perfect season. This is their first time in the state championship since 2017. They won yet that year, defeating Pinkerton. The Lancers were at this point just a couple years ago. They defeated Exeter that season. They've lost just once this season. They're only L coming against Salem. This will be the first time these teams have played this season. That's like our main thing is we've been working so hard for so long. We know each other's ins and outs. We know what we're going to do. And it just it helps us become a better, better fueled engine on the field. So. Our defense has just been really good. We are, we are a fast team on D. And I think we just get to the ball well. And offensively, I just think we overpower the other team and I think we can just run the ball down at anyone's throat. Yeah definitely I've gotten a lot of teachers, a lot of students talking to me. Uh, we've been here before 2019 so we kind of know what to expect but it's definitely just an awesome feeling trying to absorb everything. I definitely think that uh, it started from the Salem loss. I mean uh, from that point on we just uh, put our head down and just kept kept working, kept working and it uh, luckily brought us here. Uh, no, not done yet. Uh, we still got a few tricks up our sleeve and uh, just uh, excited to see what our coaches have planned for us and what we can execute. So the stage is set for the Division I championship. It's the Winnicott Warriors and the Londonderry Lancers playing for the state crown. Kickoff is 1 o'clock Saturday at Bill Ball Stadium in Exeter. In Division II, you've got Timberlane and Milford. Timberlane is looking to end the season with the state championship and a perfect record as well. You can say the Timberlane Owls have trusted the process, especially this program's senior class. They went 0-9 two years ago as sophomores, so you can imagine how much this season means to them. The Isles' last championship was in 2001 when they beat Bishop Geary. The Spartans are coming off a huge win over Lebanon. It's been a while since their last championship, too. They defeated Monadnock in 2003 for the D4 title. The Isles and Spartans played a couple weeks ago. It was a close one, too, with Timberlane winning 21 14, so this has the makings of a thriller for the D2 championship. Yeah, obviously two years ago, uh, all of us, like this group was a lot younger and we were all playing and it was, uh, it was a lot tougher. It was Division One, we were all younger. So we all, we, we kind of worked hard. We got to this point where we are now, we're a lot more successful. So it's, it's, been, a, it's been a grind, but it's been, it's been fun. Honestly, as in my sophomore season, I think that we'd never get to this moment. But I mean, a lot of kids just hitting the gym, everyone grinding in the off season, just got us here. Very excited because uh Past few weeks, not knowing if it's your last game, but now I know it is. Got to leave it all out there. Very exciting, especially playing in the state championship. Oh, I think it's going to be a tough, hard game. I mean, it's going to be ground and pound from both teams, really. We've been sharp all practice. You know we're locked in. We've been ready for a few days, and we all just can't wait to play tomorrow. All right, so Timberlane and Milford for the D2 crown. They'll kick off at 1 o'clock Saturday at Pinkerton Academy. This is our last FNF show of the season. But before we end this thing until next year, we have to show some love to our team of photographers. You can see their wonderful faces behind me. It takes a full effort to put this show together each week. And this group of photogs have such a huge part to do with that. Traveling all over the state, standing out in the elements to make sure we get all the big plays and spotlight the talented players all across the state. So thank you for helping us with another year of FNF.